So we're just leaving Whitchurch, Hampshire now, on the way to my first ever 4N road trip. Um, so travelling all the way to Gorston upon Sea or Gorston on Sea uh, to Forsyth tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. It's currently half past six, so I'm expecting to get to uh, Gorston on Sea around in about three to four hours, which will be interesting. Um, so yeah, just leaving Whitchurch now. Foresight in tomorrow two times. Um, thought I'm going to record the entire thing for this episode of the video show, which I think is probably episode 55, 55, 56. This is the video show. Get your questions answered by using the hashtag the video show. So, got the petrol, filled it up, and uh, now I've got to work out where I'm going. So I'm filming this on a GoPro Hero 2, and then I bought um, like a window suction cup thing for it, a selfie stick. So that's what we're going to film the whole thing on, and I'm recording it using this lapel mic. We've got to go up the M3, which is currently 50 miles an hour after fleet, and then um, all the way around the M25 just after rush hour and just hit the M25 and I'll just show you yay so uh, pretty much no movement on the M25 so it's junction 12 to 14 long delays So just pulling in to South Mims. Don't know if I said yet, but tonight I will be camping. And it's raining. Right, see you in a minute. So basically I met Emma Roach on Twitter and she basically invited me to uh, Foresight over the summer because I said I wanted to talk about um, video toolkit. But I'd be interested to see, out of the four runners watching this, how far have you travelled to go to four and How many of you do travel further and stay overnight? The furthest I have travelled before is about an hour and a half, which is probably Bristol, Western Supermare, that kind of distance. Um, and that's fine because that only means getting up sort of six, half six, which is still earlier than BNI. Keep picking my nose. Might cut that out. And they've closed the road, so now I've got to take a diversion. <coughs> I know there's a Tesco's. Because it's a bloody long way to go. Just arrived. It's half ten. I've set up the tent and uh, just gonna go find somewhere to brush my teeth. It's quite a weird camping in I'm never really sure what's going on, but nice little setup. Good morning. It's 6:22 a.m. and uh, just getting up, ready to go for a shower and get ready to put four in. Um, been sort of awake since four, because it was light. Um, I've got in the car because I'm wary of waking other people up. There's my tent, I'll show you some more in a bit. Right, so we've arrived at the Cliff Hotel in Gorston on Sea. Um, packed up from the campsite earlier and I'm now ready for the first four way meeting of the day. Let's go. You alright? I'm good. Say hello. I'm filming. <laughs> 
Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you for coming on. Right. This is Tom. Nice to meet you. So they are site fit to three different 4M meetings today. Um, so they've got Gorson, Dis, and then Norwich. So it's my fourth up twice. Hello. <laughs> Oh, I've got that on camera. All right. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I've just had the best one-to-one -one ever with this guy called Tom. Hey. Turns out, I've gone all, come all the way to Yarmouth, it took me five hours to get here. This guy went to the school next to me in, um, in Gravesend. In Gravesend. Yeah. Yeah. In Gravesend. Yeah. And we both have ended up doing the same thing, video production. We're in the same year at uni and the same year at school and we know all the same people. And we've ended up through 4N discovering that, sat on the same table and having a one-to-one -one in, in, in Yarmouth of all places. So, so yeah, that's how 4N works. That, that yeah. is indeed how 4N works. Cool. Really good to meet you. Yes. I'm going to do it. Good. Shake. Good, yeah. good to meet you. <laughs> cool. Hello, um, just finished having a chat with Emma from the Gorston on Sea group. Hello. Hello. Um, and if you've got a question for yeah. the show. It was a great foresight this morning, so thank you for that. That's and right. I'm just wondering, how do I get started with my video now? Thank you. Um, shall I answer that now? Yeah. Let's answer that now. Um, so getting started, I think it's just about getting whatever you've got, no matter uh, if it's just an iPhone, iPad, anything, and just answering p questions that people have. Yeah. about video and um, then just improving each and every time so improving how you present improving the equipment you've got so don't worry about the equipment you've got straight away mm -hmm. just improve it as and when you can afford it another top tip would be to go onto the video toolkit website oh, okay, that's cool. videotoolkit.co.uk yeah, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> just finished uh, chatting to Emma after 4 in uh, had a nice chat uh, met her on Twitter uh, a few months ago and she invited me to 4 um, because I said I was talking about a video toolkit. So on the way to Norwich now to find somewhere to do a little bit of work in the day, uh, got a little bit of editing to do, might start editing this, um, but got a few ed editing bits to do from clients that I shot yesterday and last week. So bits to do and a little bit of a drive now into Norwich. We're on the way into Norwich and the first time we've been talking outside. Uh, I spoke about this yesterday but how weird you feel when you're talking in front of a camera when there's other people around. But so heading into two more people heading into the centre. And uh, don't get my neck, but I was just trying to find some Wi Fi to get some work done. <laughs> Suddenly, everybody has turned up. It's 20 past five, and um, Foresight in Norwich is about to start at six, so I'm going to head down now. Hello. Before I start, I just want to get you all on my video, for the, my, uh, the video show, so wave hello. Yay. That's the end of 
the networking road trip. Um, just about to head back now to sunny Hampshire. Um, just thought I'd sum up the trip. Um, both groups were amazing. Um, it's really good to meet different people, go to new groups, to meet people we haven't met before, but it's good that 4N, 4 Networking has the same format each and every time, so you know what you're going to expect, you know what's going to happen, you can relax about that, you can just concentrate on what your business does and meet other people. And that's what this whole trip is about, just telling people about video talking, foresight and about video, how video can help, and had a lot of interesting conversations. Yeah, the whole foresight thing, definitely recommend. If you're going to travel this far and go to new groups, do the foresight and it's just the perfect way. You've got a whole 15, 20 minutes to talk about your business. Whereas if you didn't do it, you just have 40 seconds. And that's some really, really interesting people. Um, excuse me. And uh, it's good to see, like, travel this far and see, like, such successful groups.